Tower one Shaper 1000 here. We got two buckets here. That bucket is for that car. This bucket is for this car. And I'm only allowed to use palm olive on it because that's what her dad used to use. So I guess I'll keep the torch going and use palm olive for it. Uh, she's using my blower that I got sent to me. I did a review on. That thing's been handy. That thing is awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah, she's going to blow them off first, I guess. And then I'm going to mix up some soap into that bucket. I'll set you up, time lapse you. We'll wash the car. Stick around. Okay, guys, time to speed you up. We're just Corvette vlogging today, so let's wash it. What happened, Monk? The sponge fell off her thing. The sponge fell off her thing. <laughs> now she can't get it. I'm determined. I'll just open up that. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to washing the vet. Got about half of it washed. Looks like that's chipped there. Those have been there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm that might buff out. These mirrors need painted. If you look the other side, it's yeah. the other side it's pretty bad. <clears throat> well the whole car needs a paint job, guys. Don't get me wrong. I just can't afford can't afford to put five grand into a two thousand dollar car you know what i mean um need some gel work back here now when this is buffed out you don't see these and i don't know what he did here but if you look at that the paint started cracking up on it and he just like <laughs> same with here he just <laughs> and the back yeah, you, I think you can see the difference. They said this was professionally done, and I beg to differ. I could do a better job at that because if I did that, what I would have done is I would have took all this off and got it to, that's just white paint, man. That's all they've done. And I would have tried to get it to match as close as I could to the cleanest part of the car. And then I would have feathered it back clear up into here at least i would have feathered it and uh, i'm not a body guy so i probably wouldn't have done it i've done it before i'm not that great at it but it turns out fine but a professional can do it and you know more than half the time as i could but yeah and then you know feather back in you and you'd never even know that this was painted and i don't know why her mom don't know why, but she does remember him having his back bumper done. Bumper cover. This is all from gas. And this is just from sitting outside. So I got some bleach over there. What I did last time was bleached it real good. Um, 
yeah it, it needs good good paint job I could probably spray that myself and uh, make it look really good it wouldn't be you know a five thousand dollar paint job but it would look well a sight better than it does now you know there's cracks and chips here where you know people's bumped it or backing into stuff you can't see out these things especially with that glass that that's a plastic one though it's not glass so all right well let's continue on we're gonna start up here next this is another thing now these down in here see all that there's supposed to be a, a drain hole well there is a drain hole here and there's a, a tube that runs down in and that's what gets rid of your water and it's clogged so I gotta be careful so I gotta come out here every so often and dry that out see that that needs all re, repainted um, yeah that needs to be taken off and reshot but that would be noticeable too unless we have the trunk on it which that thing needs repainted too but it won't be on there 99 percent of the time because that'd be a pain in the ass that's so you could travel you put your stuff in there it's got a handle on it and you put your stuff in there and that's your trunk well it sits up here so if you're traveling and you wanted to uh put stuff in your trunk you have to take that trunk off every time you stop and fill up so all right let me get you set up and we'll we'll get the top part of this and then i'll do the sides i always start at the top and go down i don't like washing these tops with soap if i can help it because it takes forever to get out of there and then once it dries you start getting like a white haze and then when it rains you see soap coming off of it and running down the side of your car so i because you know it's cloth so i don't if i don't have to i don't uh i won't use soap on the tops this needs to be all taken off i'll do all this myself taken off and resprayed um probably flat black since everything else is flat black so i might go with a matte black on it i think would look good on there and it would match the trim a little better all right let's get back to work hey monkey did you get your uh, mop off the top of the yeah <laughs> she's like oh i'm like what she said my thing came off my thing i said that's it <laughs> i had to show you guys okay let's get back on this thing So what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, that's still kind of dirty. So I've got some bleach over here, some really good stuff. I use it on the boat. I've used it on this before, too. Works really well. So those sections I'm going to bleach up real nice and make it look good. Like Monkey said, it needs waxed. Well, technically it needs buffed out. Would help it a lot, but yeah, paint job would be nice. Uh, but I'll probably end up having to paint it paint it myself because it's just I can't see you know putting several thousand dollars into a car that's no matter how good I get it or how good it's going to run or anything like that that car's never going to be a four thousand dollar car it's just you know let's face it guys it's a c4 you know so uh 
but anyway yeah that's what i'm going to do i'm going to spray that down now and then um and then i'll let it soak and then i'll wash it off with soap and water all right i'll let that soak and then i'll wash it off and i'll show you what it looks like after you can already tell a difference there so i'm gonna let it soak a few minutes and then i'll wash it off with soap and water all right guys so here it is so after it sat all i did was hose it off and then i'll put the sponge on it but i'll show you the stuff we use on it or i use on it this stuff here i think she's thinking it's around four dollars at dollar general this is lemon scent but i think they have regular but i don't um i don't smell any lemon in it but yeah that's that's good for you should you know you can use that stuff on tennis shoes and whatever now the best way to get this i don't know if i'll do it today is put the top down and that flips up like that and then you can get in there i did that last time and wipe all that out but we just kind of wanted to clean it up christmas is coming and it's going to be sitting here where the truck is the truck's going to be pulled back over there and this will be backed in like it was last year and then um, but yeah as you can see all that's pretty much gone see that's rough I think this might might have been resprayed at one time because that feels really rough and that's smooth so but yeah as you can see it it does a great job really good on tires I haven't done the tires and wheels yet I don't think I'm gonna I think I'll just spray some bleach on the tires but I'm not gonna brush them I mean this car doesn't go anywhere when it dries I'll spray some armor on there make it look halfway decent these I need to take these off these spinners off and clean them up and they're aluminum and I'll buff them out on the buffer make them shine so yeah nice looking better so yeah I'm just gonna spray spray them down the tires I'm just gonna spray them with bleach let it set a few minutes and then hose it off I did bring the brush out but I'm not gonna worry about it so like I said it doesn't go anywhere all right I'll get back with you once the things dry it off okay Indeed.
All right, guys, there it is all cleaned up. I I just couldn't leave it without running a brush across the tires, and I went ahead and put some tire shine on it, cleaned the black stripe up. So, yeah, it looks decent. Except that mirror. <laughs> Your eyes are like, yeah, that's pretty nice. Ooh. <laughs> it's a magnet for your eyes. But that's all right. You know, the damn thing, 33 years old. Almost 34 years old. Yeah. It's been in the family, what, 28 years now? Going on 29 years. So, yeah, it ain't going nowhere, is it, Mom? Nope. I think it's got... It's running on all eight now, but it's not running good. Um, you revved up about three grand, it's all right, but in idling it's okay, but as soon as you put it in gear, it wants to stall out. I know the timing's off, but I can't put the timing light on it because I don't know what cam he's got in there. So if I time it to where it's supposed to be, well, you know, like if I time it to what the specs for factory is it's not going to be right because that engine's not factory it's got an ostrich tuner in the computer so i don't know what it's tuned at so i'm going to have to put it on i think i found some software on his laptop oh yeah so i'll try to put it hook it up to the computer and see if that tells me anything because mm -hmm. um, i don't know what cam he's got in it because it's got the 202 double hump heads I don't know if he put them on there or somebody else did. You know, I don't know if they were on there when he bought it or if he put them on. I would say he put them on when he put that supercharger on. Yeah. That would be my guess. Mm. So, I think it's running, it came out of the factory nine and a half to one compression. I think it's like 10, 10 and a half to one right now. Mm -hmm. So it's a snappy car when it's running good. And I think the fuel filter is clogged. I mean, because you know, that one fuel injector was clogged. It wasn't dirt or rust, rust because there's no rust in that tank, you know. Right. So, it, it could be a little bit of dirt, but it could be from the lines, maybe the lines, whatever, but I don't know when the last time fuel filter was changed on that, so. Who knows? But yeah, and tires and we'll, we'll run it, won't we? Yeah. That's another thing, it needs to be run. That's the whole problem, too. You gotta get, get these tires. Get it running, I'll go down and get like five gallons of airplane fuel and put in it, mix it with a whole tank, and that'll help. That'll help clean her throat out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But there it is. Yeah, we was kind of messing around here, but it kept wanting to stall out on me as soon as you put it in gear, so. Nothing major. We're down to nitpicking stuff now, huh, Mama? Yeah. Tires and you know buffing it out interior needs clean and needs door seals yeah, it does. right there yeah. and you have to get them for it's almost double the price of regular ones for a regular corvette because you know they have to bend you know so because the top goes down all right there we go so anyway did you have fun today monk well yeah Cleaning. That's looking pretty good. But I scuffed it up when we took it around back one day. A couple scuffs right here. And right in here. It's kind of, that'll buff out though. But Monkey said, well, that's what we bought it for. And she's right. We bought it to use it, huh, Monk? Yeah. All right, Shea Bear, the Mental Man, let him go for now. We'll see you guys in the next one, Monk. Next up. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care. So I changed my Google picture last night. My Google homepage background. Huh. Cool.